Mucker and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the best day ever. Wait, I wonder if, sorry for being so, like I'm lying at the start of my videos, but I just realized that that was like peak volume. I want to know if my videos look better with the light off, like, no, it looks really bad. <laughs> really bad. Uh, uh, let's just move past that. I want to show you my outfit. I really do. Okay, so these trousers are like a weird match with this like black and white shirt, but like I really, you know, I still feel like it works and my ass looks fucking huge in these. Um, here's going to show my Instagram post. I posted a picture where, you know, my ass looked huge and people were like, is this real? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. You know what I mean? Drinking water, drinking green tea, I have to remind you. Okay, today's video is going to be an insane one. I really feel the need to put some hand... Did... Why did that squirt everywhere? <laughs> Why did that squirt everywhere? Not what I was anticipating, but you know what? Still fun. Okay, so today's video is a wild one. We have a story that involves Trisha Paytas and Manny MUA. And not Trisha Paytas like exposing Manny MUA or you know attacking or Manny MUA attacking Trisha or whatever like that. No, 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 it's actually a very positive story. Hmm, that's suspicious to do with Trisha and Manny MUA. Now, if you don't know, Manny is a beauty guru on this platform. He kind of has a smaller audience nowadays, no shade. He was initially one of the bigger male ones and he kind of, you know, decreased in success or popularity, may I say, a little bit because of his involvement in a drama with Jeffree Star. He was one of the first people that Jeffree actually was able to cancel. You know, Jeffree has no power doing that in 2021. But back then, Jeffree had a lot of power and Manny M.E.A., I'm pretty sure, just got cancelled for being a bad friend to Jeffree Star. Like, I'm pretty sure that was what was going on. Like, Laura Lee, I'm pretty sure, had really disgusting tweets resurfaced, but I think with Manny M.U.A., I may be wrong, I'm pretty sure the narrative was just that Jeffree Star was pushing that he was an, a horrible friend and people felt bad for Jeffree, therefore Manny got kind of blacklisted from everything, which is wild to think about. Anyways, Manny's still on YouTube, he's still thriving, he's just one of the people we don't talk about that much because he kind of minds his own business, so good for him. That being said, he is still close with James Charles, to my understanding, which surprised me because what we're going to watch is him praising, you know, the H3 podcast. And that has to do with, you know, the Frenemies podcast. He's directly, you know, complimenting the Frenemies podcast, which is wild to me because Manny M.U.A. being friends with J or James Charles, there's so many, j you know, names, with James Charles is <laughs> a bit weird because the Frenemies podcast, if we're being honest, has had two people kind of at the forefront of it, you know, in the takedown scheme of it for quite some time now, and that is David Dobrik, James Charles. So Manny M.E.A., you know, voicing his support for the podcast, has pissed off a lot of his fans that I'm seeing on Twitter and in the response to his video. Now, the reason for that is people think that he's, you know, turning on his best friend for a podcast that's so against his best friend and, you know, really has been leading, whether we want to admit it or not, the cancellation this time around, you know, the 2021 version, the re-re-up reloaded version of James Charles being cancelled because there's so many at this point, for all the disgusting behaviour that we're seeing with him and high school age boys. That being said, Let's hear what Manny has to say. Trisha has responded. You know, they've put out a tweet in response to Manny M.U.A. And they actually talked about Manny in the new Frenemies podcast where Trisha was like, you know, Manny isn't as popular anymore. So it was, you know, what's that? <laughs> you know, it was, oh, sorry. That was to do with Manny. Sorry, Frenemies is two hours long. It is long. That was to do with Trisha brought up briefly that Manny M.U.A. actually interviewed Joe Biden, which is weird. And was like, you know, he's not one of the most popular beauty gurus. So it was weird that he was able to do that. That was unrelated. Sorry. Um, but that was a part of Frenemies. They were talking about him in that retrospect. And then they talked about him, you know, voicing his support and that Trisha actually really likes Manny. And the tweet that Trisha put out, really promotes that as well. So let's hear what Manny has to say about Frenemies and the podcast. And it is interesting to still note that this is one of James Charles's friends. So Gila client fan. Okay, here we go. A huge, 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 huge Gila client fan. Or Gila, either or I believe is okay. But obsessed with her. Literally obsessed with her. I have the city. I think you understand. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. 
Speaking of Ela, Miss Ela Klein, she is the wife of Ethan Klein, who H- is also known as H3H3, who has also a podcast as well. He has a podcast with Trisha Paytas called Frenemies, and honestly, we that know. podcast, you guys, is very good. Mm, daddy? <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's a very good podcast. I think it's very well done. I think it's very entertaining for sure. I think it's just a really... I'm also using the Morphe X Aerial brushes. These are absolutely stunning so far. Absolutely stunning. So nice. Really stunning. So stunning. Go make up my Aerial. You better work, bitch. But no, like honestly, like... Who remembers the video of Manny M.E.A. repeating everything Jeffree Star said where Jeffree would be like, this is so pigmented. And Manny would be like, so pigmented. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. (laughs) Throwback. Enjoying their frenemies podcast, I'm not gonna lie. And the reason why I enjoy it okay. specifically is I feel like they have a young audience, right? I feel like they have a very young audience, and I feel like they talk about issues that are actually really important and to, to be informed about. You True. know, and I really, really like that and I really enjoy that they talk about, you know, they talk about Black Lives Matter and, you know, Asian hate and, you know, non binary LGBT. Like they just bring up so many different topics that I'm so glad to see um right, talk true. about, to be honest. And listen, I'm not saying I agree with everything Ethan and Trisha say or talk about or their past or anything like that but i do appreciate now, the good that comes out of here's it. my thing so he's focusing on you know the good that they've done with the podcast and the big stories that they talk about and i completely agree and the other really big topic and story that manny didn't really bring up has to do with his best friend which is a bit interesting to me which is you know about what we're aware of you know that relates to james charles that they talk about it's a certain word that begins with p Allegedly. It's interesting that he didn't bring that up, but he said, you know, they have so many good topics or whatever. Maybe there's some cracks with the friendship with Manny. Manny has to know what James is doing is wrong. So, I mean, him voicing his support is very interesting because not a lot of YouTubers are voicing their support for Ethan, Trisha, or the podcast, even though it is so successful because people are scared to be attached to it or, you know, you know, voice their support for it, and then people say, so you're condoning this, you're condoning that, you're condoning this, you're condoning that. So a lot of people aren't voicing anything to do with it. So Manny doing it is very interesting, especially because he's still close with James Charles, from what we know. Hmm, interesting. Yes, you know, I really, I do appreciate that. I really, really do. Actually, you know, me, me and Trisha don't have a relationship. We're not friends um, in any way, shape, or form. We've actually had a couple really awkward encounters together. So I can't say that we have, like, a good friendship or anything like that. But what I will say is that I, I feel like I recognize that she's trying. You know, I feel like I can see her trying, and I think that that's what really matters. I think that she's doing the best that she can to continue to grow and learn. And I think that in the past few years... Especially having Ethan in her life. Um, just from the outside looking in, I don't really know a ton about her and about her life. But from a, someone who's a fan of like watching Frenemies, it just seems like she's surrounded by a lot of love now. More so than she was before. And You know what's super that. interesting? That my final point that I'm going to do while we watch this video is him voicing his support for Trisha and the people around Trisha. And my only reason for saying that is because we're aware that everyone in James's circle, you know, his close friends, all do not like Trisha. We're talking about the TikTokers. Charlie, Dixie, Charlie did a live stream calling Trisha a bully or whatever it said that Trisha was just, you know, um, acting out um, against Charlie. And so this is what we're knowing. And James made all those TikToks about Trisha and made the response. And we're aware that James Charles's friends do not like Trisha Paytas. So seeing one of his friends voice their support for them is very interesting in my opinion and we're starting to see a shift maybe james is gone and we're starting to see that maybe he's not a good person i appreciate that ethan's a good influence on her and that she tries she constantly tries and listen i have not forgotten that she's like talked negatively about me talked negatively about friends of mine and things like that Ooh. but i think Ooh. everyone deserves love that includes trisha i think same with everyone like i think that everyone deserves love in their life and Hashtag it love. makes me happy to see that okay so that's interesting that he's saying he's talked negatively about me, talked negatively about the friends, but everyone deserves love. No, that can apply to a lot of Manny's friends, not about James Charles. But I want to ask you, do you think that Manny is still, you know, sticking up for James and saying, you know, talk bad about his friends about James? Because if he is doing that, there's no real standing ground in which defending James about the stuff that they do. But let's read what Trisha responded. So Trisha responded to the, you know, post that Dennis had put up about it and said, I feel like I was such a sad, hurt individual for so long and wanted to pick fights with everyone because I was insecure about not being a part of groups. It's nice to be given another chance, you know, as to speak and to speak. 
I wish I could apologize to a lot of people face to face. Maybe one day I can. So it's very interesting that we're seeing a lot of really positive interactions between YouTubers and Trisha Paytas, the ones that are really, you know, stepping up and saying something because Trisha, from the looks of it, is always responding back and will say, you know, maybe I wasn't in the right for doing this to you, or you did this to me and I didn't agree with it, but I'm willing to learn now. And we're seeing these conversations play out on Frenemies, and I think it's really doing a world of good on the podcast and opening up the YouTube community again to people who were involved in drama, were involved in drama because of maybe one person, <clears throat> Jeffree Star, all together, and now they're like, hey, maybe you weren't the worst person, maybe <clears throat> Jeffree Star was the worst person in the world. It's interesting, and it's really nice to see because... In years past, we just saw that beefs would go, you know, unended, and therefore they would go on and on and on and on and on and on and on for years. But what we're seeing with a lot of people to do with Trisha Paytas, besides Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and Ryland, <coughs> is that they're speaking up and they're being forgiven by Trisha, or Trisha is being forgiven, and they're opening a positive conversation online. And I think it is doing so much good within the community. And I don't think you need to stand up for either party, whoever that is, to recognize that that's a good influence on the community and in the drama community in the beauty space and frenemies being able to directly involve themselves in the beauty space of YouTube is interesting because neither of them are in that you know what I mean but they just have so many close connections and so many close experiences so I mean it's nice to see this is the first time in a while that we're doing a video where it has a positive ending that the two people are coming together and I mean good on them it's nice to see and again, Manny did not have a good reputation on YouTube for the longest time because of Jeffree Star. And it's not even like we're reaching and saying that. It was because of Jeffree Star that Manny was blacklisted, that people didn't like him, that people just shit on him and did all this. And from my understanding, I may be wrong. Well, I'm not wrong in saying it now. He is pretty unproblematic and just minds his own business and does his videos. And um, I've commented and watched a couple of them. And, you know, he's doing a good job. So, good for him good for Trisha, and yeah, I want to know what your opinion is of this. It's nice seeing two people who maybe not have liked each other in the past, or maybe, you know, like, friendships that don't align, you know, coming together, and especially publicly like this. It's, it's, it's a breath of fresh air, to say the least. So, let's talk about it below. I love you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay well, and yeah, bye. Mwah. What a positive video. Yay, such joy. <laughs>